What's going on, everybody? Um, Mazor Gabriel Creeper Dash, whatever you, call, whatever you want to call me. <coughs> I'm out with a virus right now. I'm out with a cold. But I'm going to show you how to make a TF2 land server. Um, I just want to show you my profile real quick before I begin. But that's kind of useless what I'm showing you. But anywho, you want to go, you minimize it. What you usually want to do is you just type in uh, Steam command. Uh, you just go in Google, type in steam command and it should pop you up to this page depending on the OS uh, you want to download it like Windows I'm gonna I'm not gonna uh, yeah you want to actually install it desktop save it's gonna be in a compressed zip folder now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut it I think I may already have a folder in a uh, by steam for steam command but anywho you go into here um hmm Steam command. I'm gonna delete this because it's already full. Yeah. Paste. I want to paste that in there. Uh, I just recommend um, putting it with your Steam because this isn't actually my computer. It's not actually my dad's, but he just recommends. Um, it's a plan on C drive because C drive just has like the antivirus software and uh, operating system, graphics updates, etc. Well, the eDrive is meant for uh, games and music, as you can see, because properties, yeah, over si al al almost f 600 gig. Oh, 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 whoa, that's a f that's a crap load. 715 gigs of just games. That's a lot. So, I go into Steam, uh, Steam command. Like I said, open this up. You open it up. And you press run because it says publisher valve application. This you do not need a an admin password. If you actually did, then I couldn't record this because I don't know my dad's password to the computer. <clears throat> okay. While that's loading up, you want to go into Google and type in uh, TF2 Steam command dedicated server commands. So you actually want to go over here and you want to look at this stuff that, that my mouse is circling. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to press login anonymous because if you log into your Steam account then it usually crashes trying to download it because it says that you're already online because you have to be Steam has to be open if you do this but if you log in with Steam already like I'm logging with my profile if you're logging in with that then it actually crashes this and along with Steam and says please try again later so that's why I want to use anonymous once that's logged in License info. Okay. Now, before we install anything, we want to make a new folder. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it TF2 LAN server. I'm going to rename it. Uh, just rename. Make it local area network server. Okay. You want to copy address. Okay. Minimize this now. Now you want to do is force in stall dr if you press control v for paste it just gives you the alternate v so what you actually have to do you have to press this little thing that the mouse is on and my cursor is on you go into edit paste once you do that enter it's gonna install I think I might have done this wrong yeah, I think I might have done it. Force. Install. DR. Okay. Paste. Okay. It's already installing. Okay. I'm going to do app. Underscore update. Two, three, two, two, five, zero. Because that's the code name for Team Fortress 2, I can actually prove it to you. Um, desktop uh, program and data E. Or is it uh, games, Steam, and where is it a. Uh, I think it's user data. No, it, yeah, no, it's not. It's in uh, Steam Apps. And then your profile. And it shows all the screenshots you took. Oh, God, what I do. It shows you all the screenshots and stuff. It goes into more detail when you go into user data. But I'm not going to get into that because that's kind of useless in my opinion. So, once you have that update, 
you press enter. It's gonna take a while. Mine, I don't have the fastest internet, but <clears throat> see, it's 0.23 percent done. When it's at 100, when it, when this is at like 100.00, that means it's done downloading. So let's do this. It's gonna wait here. Listen to music, whatever. I'm probably gonna edit this out, which I probably, which I am probably gonna do. So while I'm slowly, I'm actually going to play some Zelda. Um, yeah, it's at 5, okay. Once that's installed, you press quit. Okay. And then you go into the Steam folder where you actually had it in. Network, if you're going to make a network, you need to port forward your thing. Which well, I'm not going to go over because I really don't help port forward. So, we're going to password. I'm just going to make it 1234 because it's a LAN server. So, server name. Mr. Creeper Dash. Start server. Okay. Arena, I don't like Arena, in my opinion. Should I do that payload race, uh, high tower event? There. Should be good. Um, <clears throat> and. Mm hmm. So, let's just start TF2 now. Let's go to servers, LAN, and it's the same name. Uh, if you can see, because the name. Is Mr. Creeper Dash? You enter here, and you should and it should be the same map. So, and how do the cheats? I really don't. Want, I can show you cheats, but if I do, I don't really. I don't get achievements. But hmm, and that's just that. But bots, they don't do anything on uh, this map. Well, with the regular uh, high uh, was it high tower. <clears throat> I'm gonna go blue because I like blue. And there we go. We have it. It's gonna take 22 seconds just to wait for our players. But I don't really care. Um. It just waits for our players before it actually starts, like maybe your friends or anybody like if you're a plug library. And yeah. So So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I thought this was really uh this would be really helpful. I wish I had uh my friend, but obviously I'm I feel like crap. I don't really feel like talking, ironically I'm talking right now. So, <clears throat> hope this was uh, really helpful, guys. See ya.